Hello, ladies. You may have noticed that I've grown a full beard. No Klingon man can match it. No, we hate human beards. We prefer tiny evil goatees. Admit it, ladies. You've fallen for me. Once I throw my leg over this chair, you'll both be under my spell. No, get away from us, you, you filthy chibach. Get away. Fool of a human! How dare you insult the honor of these wonderful women! Get away! Uh, 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 oh, oh, my liver! My fragile human body is no match for those reinforced ridges! Ah, oh, my lady, now that we have dispatched of the human, allow me to take you away to Stova Core! Mm -hmm. They need you in makeup! Oh. Knock! Knock! How many times have I told you to knock? What did you see? Nothing. Nothing at all. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. <sighs> Priority one message from Starfleet coming in on secure channel. Welcome, fellow warriors. I, Melknezer, on behalf of the Priority One News Network, welcome you. Let's begin this week's roundup of the news with honorableness. This week, the Star Trek franchise was bestowed a great honor. Three great honors, actually, in the form of a triumvirate of NAACP Image Award nominations. The NAACP Image Awards is, quote, recognized as the nation's preeminent multicultural award show from an African-American perspective and celebrates the outstanding achievements and performances of people of color in the arts and those who promote social justice through their creative work, end quote. So, who will represent our beloved franchise in glorious battle? Oh, our warriors are formidable. Star Trek Lower Decks is up for outstanding animated series. And Don Lewis, the voice of Lower Decks Cerritos Captain Carol Freeman, is battling for television's outstanding character voiceover performance. And the fiercely talented Hanel Culpepper is vying for outstanding directing in a drama series for her command over Star Trek Picard's episode, Remembrance. Victory is not guaranteed, but a nomination for this prestigious award is nonetheless a testament to the inclusive work Star Trek is continuing to spearhead. Though, if I may take a page out of the Kawat Malot handbook, I would love to see richer stories that spend time with and show greater care in the development of underrepresented characters in science fiction. Though in the 60s Star Trek was paving a path, it's lagged behind in recent incarnations. And my hope is that nominations like these will help inspire those in charge to take bigger strides and make bolder changes so that we can continue elevating characters and voices of color and other marginalized groups, of course. That way, Star Trek can once again be a leader of the pack. If you wish to participate in the outcome of the award show by voting, you may do so by visiting this link. Now go forth, travelers, and let your voices be heard. And to view the results, set your subspace receivers to the BET network on Saturday, March 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Though not included in the NAACP Image Awards, Star Trek Discovery is front and center in the next issue of Star Trek Magazine. This issue features an interview with Star Trek Discovery's co-showrunner, Michelle Paradise, and Star Trek Magazine was kind enough to share a preview with us. In the interview, Paradise regales the reader with yarns of her co-showrunner performance, her reflection on incorporating older Star Trek with today's offerings, and Season 3's mission statement. Then, Paradise teases us with wisps of what might come in Season 4, saying, quote, So we have an answer to the burn. One thing we always wanted to do every season is wrap up our big season mystery. And then we ended with Burnham as captain. What does that mean moving forward? 
I think that's what people are going to be excited for this season to come, is getting to see what that looks like and what her adventure to come is." End quote. Does she tell us more about season four of Star Trek Discovery? Well, my dear warriors, for that you'll have to pick up the next issue of Star Trek Magazine. Especially if you're curious about how composer Jeff Russo produced such moving works, or, or want a closer look at James McKinnon's makeup department. Well, check out the newest issue on Tuesday, February 9th by heading to your local newsstand or visiting the link below. Moving on to Star Trek games, Star Trek Discovery's Shroom Trip brought the ship to a distant future, leaving its Klingon story behind as well as its Laurel story. Ah yes, the great Chancellor Laurel, whose strength and wisdom represents the very nature of what it means to be Klingon. And in Star Trek Online's latest release, House Reborn, the Chancellor makes her glorious return, voiced by the incomparable Mary Chifo. Now, on the next episode of Priority One, a Roddenberry Star Trek podcast, the team continues their coverage of the 11th anniversary events with an hour-long interview featuring the Great Mother herself. Mary and the team not only explore the return of Laurel in Star Trek Online, but also her journey into Star Trek. What a conversation between Laurel and Worf might sound like. Will Laurel make an appearance in Strange New Worlds? Well, for those answers and much more, dear friends, you'll need to subscribe to Priority One, a Roddenberry Star Trek podcast, and listen to episode 496, due to release on Friday, February 12th. Finally, this week, it is with a wounded heart that I must report the passing of the legendary and most honorable actor, Christopher Plummer. Plummer is perhaps best known as Captain George Von Trapp in the classic film The Sound of Music. But his illustrious career spanned nearly seven decades, earning him two Oscar and two Emmy Awards. Although he was a prolific actor with countless roles and accolades, to us, Mr. Plummer will always be remembered as the fierceless General Chang in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country. Playing opposite fellow Canadian William Shatner, Christopher Plummer created a character that was intriguing, menacing, and irresistibly delightful. McCoy may have given real money to shut up Chang, but we'd give anything to hear him once again. Christopher Plummer was 91 years old. And now we must part ways. But remember, never trust a Romulan even the brutally honest ones. And if you enjoyed our time together, may I humbly request that you click the subscribe button and don't forget to set those notifications on so that you don't miss future installments of these captain's vlogs. More importantly, if you like this series, be sure to let those honorless computer YouTube algorithms know by smashing the like button and share this episode with your fellow warriors. For a deeper dive with discussions and opinions about the latest headlines from the Star Trek multiverse, visit PriorityOnePodcast.com or just search for us wherever you get your podcasts. Until next time, warriors, Kapla! Priority One message from Starfleet coming in on Secure Channel.